वेलकम टू क्रिएटिव वर्ल्ड इन दिस वीडियो वी विल सॉल्व लर्निंग असेसमेंट ई टू पॉइंट फाइव ऑफ चैप्टर टू वाइल सॉल्विंग दिस प्रॉब्लम वी विल बी यूजिंग किरचॉफ करंट ला अकॉर्डिंग टू किरचॉफ करंट ला आल करंट्स एंटरिंग टू अ नोड इज ऑलवेज इक्वल टू करंट्स लिविंग फ्रॉम डैट नोड अकॉर्डिंग टू दिस ला अकामोलेटिव करंट ऑन एनी नोड इन अ सर्कट इज ऑलवेज जीरो All entering currents to a node is always equal to all leaving currents from that node. Equation of Kirchhoff's current law is given here. Summation of all entering currents minus summation of all leaving currents will be equal to zero. Now move towards the problem. Learning assessment E two point five part A. Calculate current I one in given below figure. In this figure a constant current source with a rating of 10 mA is supplying current to two branches in the circuit. One branch current is 4 mA and other branch current is I1 which we have to calculate. We will use Kirchhoff's current law to find the value of I1. If we observe in this circuit this junction point is acting as a node because the current is distributing from this point. we will make this node as our point of concern for the calculation of i1 at this node 10 mA current is entering while i1 and 4 mA currents are leaving so we can implement kirchhoff's current law on this node to calculate the value of i1 basic equation of kirchhoff's current law is given here summation of all entering currents minus summation of all leaving currents will be equal to 0 place the values of entering and leaving currents in the equation and rearrange the equation to calculate the value of i1 that is 6 mA now moving towards the part b calculate i1 and i2 in given below figure this circuit is given and we have to calculate the value of currents i1 and i2 in this circuit there are total 3 number of nodes present in this circuit This node is taken as a reference or ground node while other two nodes will be used to calculate the values of currents. Mark these nodes with numbers node 1 and node 2. We will solve this problem with the help of Kirchhoff's current law. Basic equation of Kirchhoff's current law is shown here. Summation of all entering currents minus summation of all leaving currents will be equal to 0. we will start solving this problem from node 1 before we proceed further first we have to identify all entering and leaving currents on this node 1 at this node only one current is entering that is 12 mA while 4 mA and i1 is leaving from this node place this entering and leaving currents of this node into the kirchhoff's current equation In this equation only one variable is present that is i1 to find the value of i1 rearrange the equation by taking i1 on the other hand side of equal and add these two currents to find the value of i1 that is 8 mA at this stage we have calculated the value of i1 we will move towards the next node to calculate value of i2 At the node 2 first identify the entering and leaving currents 8 mA is entering while i2 and 3 mA are leaving to calculate the value of i2 again use kirchhoff's current equation and place entering and all leaving currents into the equation in this equation 8 mA is entering while 3 mA and i2 are leaving currents This equation includes i2 as a variable while others are constant. So in order to calculate value of i2 rearrange the equation by taking i2 on the other hand side of equal add these two currents to calculate the value of i2 that is 5 mA. So this was chapter 2 learning assessment 2.5 Thank you see you again in next video